Okay guys, I am way overdue for uh, doing the Battle Box review. This is October's box and it is November. So I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this one because there's a ton of other Battle Box unboxing videos. Um, in addition to that, my neighbor is still doing their endless construction on their house. Um, so as you can probably hear, they just turned on some big piece of equipment out there again so uh, hopefully that won't be too distracting I don't have any control over that so uh, anyways this is October 2018 and um, today we have the bench made Crooked River this is one of my favorite knives um, super sharp just really nice looking knife really comfortable in the hand so we're gonna go ahead and open this guy up. I'm actually gonna cut this over here off camera so you don't get my address and crap in there. Um, cut that. And so this is the Pro Plus box. Um, as many of you probably already know, Pro Plus is basically their top of the line box. So that is what you get down there pro plus so you get a, a knife of the month uh, that's that's what the plus gets you above the pro you get a nice knife so it looks like for october we have a value of 295 dollars and 76 cents which is um, msrp value and you can see the values of each of the individual items and then uh, this costs 150 a month or 149.99 a month plus shipping so for me it ends up being I think 156 a month so we'll set that aside and uh, start with the basic box uh, first thing we have in here is the complete guide to edible plants so this book so inside here we have a guide to Plants that are edible when you're out in the wilderness, you can find something to eat. So uh, I don't have anything like that, so that is actually kind of useful for me. I, I've, I've been wanting to educate myself on that, so cool. All right, I'll put that aside. Next thing we have is the Chaga Chunks. And we'll find those in here. Uh, chaga chunks. I think that's this. Okay, so I believe this is a fire starter. Um, break off little pieces of that, and I believe that is flammable. So um, I think it has other uses too. I'll have to look it up. I, there's no real information in the packaging on that. So. I'll put more information in the description. Um, we got the Wazoo Foraging Bandana, which is this guy right here. So basically, this bandana has, uh, you know, it's similar to the, the book where it gives you information about different kinds of plants and um, you know, obviously it's a bandana too, so you can use it for a variety of uh, purposes. Um, straining water, wearing it on your head, keeping the sweat off your face, whatever. Uh, gathering stuff. But anyways, it has uh, everything labeled. Like this one has the medical symbol on it, so that's a medicinal plant there. All right, so you can look at what the plant is. It has the, the name. Um... I mean, I guess that's okay. Um, it would be more useful if it had something that explained how you use it. I guess if you already know what it is that, that the plant does, uh, this is just kind of a quick reference guide, but if you have zero information like me, um, it's really not as useful. Um, I mean, I guess this is pretty self-explanatory that you can use it as a tea. Um, it's medicinal and you can eat it so that's that's more straightforward um, I don't know 
kind of meh on that. I, I don't, it's okay. Not not super thrilled about it. Whatever. All right. Next thing. This is still in the basic box. Um, we have flavored crickets and flavored larvets. So we'll find that in here. So there's our flavored larvets and flavored crickets. We got salt and vinegar flavor on the crickets and Mexican spice on the larvets. So this is literally uh, bugs you can snack on that are flavored. Um, I gotta be honest, I am not gonna eat that. If I'm gonna have something that takes up room in a bag or something, um, I'm just gonna eat something that that's regular food. I, I mean, I guess this is a good way for you to try eating insects if you've never eaten them before. Um, but uh, yeah, I that's that's not for me. I'm I'm good with uh, just eating regular food. So kind of a unique item, um, but not not for me. So. Uh, Leave a comment in the video if you want these. I'll, I'll send them your way. So, all right. <clears throat> uh, next thing. Uh, that's it for the basic box. So now we're going to go to the advanced box. We have the uh, field farmhand knife. So uh, let's see where we got that at. The field farmhand knife is here. So this is the Lord and Field farmhand knife. Um, that's nice packaging. That's that's unique. It's kind of like a cardboard tube. You know, you normally put a you know map or something in something you know rolled piece of paper. And then we have um, a waxed piece of paper in here. That's kind of that's kind of cool. Gives it a old timey feel. Okay. So there's the knife. Um, that that feels like micarta on there. You got three brass pins. You do have a lanyard hole. Um, there's the uh, the fingernail opening. There's a lock back. Um, kind of a unique blade shape there. It's like a hook bill, but. Um, yeah, that's feels kind of sharp. Let's let's check it out with the old paper real quick, just to just to check out how the finishing is on that edge. So we'll check that out. Oh yeah, super sharp. Yeah, that is that's really nice. That's that's really nicely honed. Uh, really really sharp. I actually like that. I like that a lot. You know, just kind of old fashioned. Um, lock back folder cool packaging yeah, so uh, yeah I'm I'm happy with that and moving right along we'll, uh, we'll put that away over here um, next thing is the canvas trail bag and that is so oh, sorry the the knife was 40 bucks the bag is valued at 25 bucks so we'll find that I think that's this guy so, um, yeah, this, we'll open it right on up, check it out. There we are. Okay, <clears throat> so we got a nice soft leather pouch here, and you open up the snap, and you got a nice, um, waxed canvas here so basically you know you well wear this on your belt you've got a couple snaps here that open up and you stick your belt through there right <clears throat> and so you got this very compact little bag that opens up to this much larger bag and then you can put stuff that you're gathering in there whether it be you know little bits of fire tender or um, berries or food or something um, so it folds up, you know, that's that's basically the the palm of my hand there. So that's nice, nice and compact. Uh, really, really soft leather. That that actually feels really nice. I'm I like that. 
that's good. That's a good item. That'll be useful, and uh, I don't have anything like it, so pretty cool. Okay, so that is it for the advanced box. Now we're moving on to the pro box, which we get our waxed canvas rugged twill log carrier for $50. All right, let's see. Let's see, that's this guy. All right, so let's open this up. So it, it feels pretty dang stiff. Um, go ahead and lay that down. So, yeah, you can feel it. I mean, that's that's definitely waxed. Um, got leather straps, um, which also have nylon on the underneath, which is nice. Um, double stitched it looks like all the way around so that's good um, but basically the way this works you open it up like that and then you put your your wood in there and then you just fold it up and you can carry it like a suitcase and make your life a lot easier so I I have a wood-burning stove in my house I will definitely use that if nothing else, just to carry wood into the house and down into the basement. So that's very useful for me. Very happy with that. Is it worth 50 bucks? Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah, I'd probably do 50 on that. Um, just because I, I could definitely, definitely use that. And it doesn't take up much room. It's not terribly heavy either. I, I'd probably take that camping even to bring firewood back to base camp you know so that's that's pretty cool okay uh, next thing is we have the Mora knife 511 for $9.99 and that would be this guy right here it's in black you got a plastic sheath you know classic Mora knife shape um, these you know very inexpensive very affordable knives um, and, you know, really they're, they're good quality. I mean, for, for being a $10 knife. Now you can get the 511 online cheaper than that. I know for a fact, I mean, I've seen them for, you know, six, seven bucks a piece. Um, but, you know, $10 is kind of the going rate, um, if you buy from, uh, you know, a big retailer. So, uh, Yeah. That's cool. I have a few other more knives. Um, now the thing about these is that uh, you don't really get a 90 degree spine on there. So uh, you can basically sand that or file that and get it down to uh, you know, a straight edge if you want to you know, do the uh, fire starter rod on there and start a fire. But um, you know, more knives Actually, yeah, some of my other ones, they, they want to fall right out of there. They don't have good retention. That one actually feels pretty good. It's maybe because it's brand new. It hasn't been in and out of that sheath much. But um, you also have this little thing on the front where you can stack them together so you can have, you know, two knives. You know, there's uh, a hole on here that you can put uh, another knife on. you got your belt clip. Made in Sweden. Yep, so... Cool, I like that. I, I can always use another Mora. Um, and you know, it looks like we forgot the wild cards. So it does say edible on there. So I guess you can eat these playing cards. And then they all have, uh, this was back in the basic box. I missed this, so sorry about that. But um, they all have facts about food and plants that can be gathered for a variety of reasons. So this is more information on um, you know, plants that are useful out in the wilderness. So, and, you know, you can play a game with it. So that's pretty cool. And I guess if you're starving, you can actually eat them. So, yep, I like that. That is valued at, um, let's see. That is, the elder, uh, edible cards are $7.95. Kind of expensive for playing cards, but, you know, most cards aren't e edible. Okay, uh, last thing in the box 
is the knife of the month, which is the Kudeman Knives MT5U, which uh, includes high-vis liners, micarta scales, and N695 Buller steel, and a leather sheath made in Spain. So they have the retail price on that for $130, and uh, that's our knife right here. So let's uh, let's open her up and see what we got. We do have the Spanish flag on there, if you can see that. All right, so it actually comes without any plastic or anything on it, and it comes in the leather sheath. Um, now you got to be careful storing your knives in leather uh, because they have a tendency to attract moisture. So if you're going to store them in, the, in leather. Uh, just make sure they're oiled, you know, so they have some kind of protective coating, otherwise it can get stained. Um, okay, so onto the knife here. We do have straps here for scout carry. Um, that would be a, a right hand draw on that. Um, you have some cord out here. Uh, and you also have a you know, more traditional belt loop for carry. Um, let's go ahead and take it out. So there's the knife. Um, that looks like a full flat grind, which I like. We got the Kudeman logo on there with the blade steel, the N695 Bowler. And then you got the MT5U on there as well. That micarta feels really good um, really smooth it's not grippy but that's okay um, you do have kind of interesting pins here so you do have the um, it looks like a hex bit hex bit on those so you can actually you know maybe you can unscrew those and and replace the scales which is nice so if you mar these up or you just fancy something else um, Looks like you can take those off and replace them. Um, do have a nice big lanyard hole if you like lanyards. Um, for this knife, might be a good idea because it's kind of slick. Um, fit and finish on this is really nice. I mean, I don't feel any edges. Well, I guess there's a little bit of one right there. You can hear that. But uh, pretty, pretty subtle. Overall, Fit and finish on that's nice. Um, you know, it feels like good quality knife. It's got a good weight to it. Got some jimping back here on the on the thumb ramp. Well, I guess it's not really a ramp, but you know, you got some jimping back here if you want to choke up on it just a little bit. Um, satin finish on that. You do see the uh, grind lines on there. I don't know if you can get catch that in the stupid camera here but um it's a nice looking knife i mean that's that's pretty cool is it worth 129 bucks yeah probably i'll look it up online and see if i can find it cheaper elsewhere but um while i got it out here we'll get our paper back out and we'll test that edge um yeah so it's got a couple places where it's kind of hanging up so you know, may just need it may need to go on the strop once or twice um, let's see or maybe it was just the idiot using it, it actually feels okay now it, it, it doesn't feel quite as sharp as that pocket knife though um, I mean a sharp and it's you know, actually very sharp, but it's not razor sharp. So, um, you know, overall, nice knife. Let's see, uh, let's see what we have when we put it back in the sheath. Um, and we'll check the retention. Yeah, I mean, it's just a tiny bit of play if you really torque on it there, but, um, it's not going anywhere. I mean, there's no movement up or down. It's just a little bit side to side at the very end of the sheath here. Just, you know, if, if you're really pulling on it. 
which wouldn't necessarily be doing. So, yep, that'll do. That'll do. Okay, guys, uh, that is it for the Battle Box October 2018 edition here. And again, you know, if you want the edible bugs, uh, shoot me a text um, you know, or a comment on the video and I'll get them out in the mail to you and you can tell me what you think. All right, that's it for now.